Hey everybody, Brian Bruce here from the Idaho Wildlife Federation. Welcome back to the weekly legislative recap where we talk about everything that moved through the legislature in the last week. That's due to fish, wildlife, hunting, fishing, public lands, and access. And I try to talk to you about it as fast as possible so that you can get to enjoying your weekend. This is the seventh week of the legislative session in 2023 and we have bills pumping through. So I'm going to get right down into it so we can get through this fast. First up is Senate Bill 1084. This is the bill sponsored by Bear World that would exempt their facility, Class C facilities, of which there are only about seven and eight in Idaho, uh, from certain monitoring um, uh, of, of their animals in their facility. And at first we were agnostic about this because we can't hunt those animals uh, and they don't impact uh, generally the, the wildlife of the state of Idaho. However, upon further inspection, we did realize that there are some um, interfaces with um, importing animals that could be uh, carry diseases, both known, like chronic wasting disease, and unknown. And we do have evidence, and it's well documented, of wild animals getting into these facilities and these captive animals getting out into the wild. And that is obviously a vector for disease and for concern. Luckily, we did testify on this bill. It is going to be sent to the 14th order, the amending order, where we can hopefully work with the bill sponsor to address some of those concerns. So good progress on that bill there. Good news. Senate Bill 1049 is up next. This would uh, uh, make it so the Department of Lands has to post their parcels of, about what can be done legally on their land and what is illegal. Uh, we've seen a significant increase of illegal uh, activity and bad behavior, people going off of roads, destroying landscape, people uh, leaving trash and all fire pits and taking timber, which is illegal already. And basically this just makes it so we can enforce those rules a little bit better. However, there were some concerns um, uh, expressed by law enforcement that need to be buttoned up in another bill. So we do sort of support this bill if it leads to better enforcement of bad behavior uh, and damage to our natural resources, um, yeah, but it does need to be addressed, some of those concerns. So um, we'll be monitoring that. That was uh, passed by the Senate on its way to the House. Next up, Senate Bill 1063. This is uh, Senator Harris's bill that would address careless exposure of barbed wire. This is 100% a livestock issue. My guess is somebody had some barbed wire left out, some livestock got cut up in it and there was damage caused. However, if we do address careless exposure of barbed wire, there is a nexus with wildlife. Uh, fencing, as we know, can prohibit wildlife movement. Uh, when it's really left in a mess, people uh, wildlife can get tangled up in it. It's bad for sage grouse as well. Uh, if we can button this up, even though it's not primarily for wildlife, there is a good positive benefit for wildlife, so we support that bill. That passed out of Senate Ag Committee and it's on its way to the Senate floor. Next up, we have House Bill 183. This would establish the Big Payette Lake Water Quality Council. This is a council that existed in the past. It sunsetted in uh, 2005. This is a non-regulatory, non-taxpayer funded council that is simply a clearinghouse for studies to be done regarding the lake and its ecosystem and its impact on drinking water and really anything that the lake provides for uh, uh, the people of Idaho. Um, there are growing concerns with eutrophication and other issues with the lake. Of course, sportsmen have invested a lot of money with fishing game to produce a viable fishery in that lake and we want to protect that investment. So this council would be a good opportunity to fund studies from private sources uh, to uh, make sure that we are doing everything we can to protect that fishery and to protect that lake. That bill was only printed. We'll let you know when there's an opportunity for folks to uh, comment. Of course, we lobbied in favor of this bill in years past and hopefully we can get it passed this year. Last up, we have House Bill 156. This is from Representatives Mike Moyle and Judy Boyle that would classify rattlesnakes as predators, basically allowing you to kill them year round like you can starlings and skunks and other predators. We think it's kind of a benign bill. We don't think a lot of people are gonna start going out there and killing rattlesnakes. Of course, you already can if they pose a threat to your person and to your property. Um, we, but we don't believe that this is really necessary. It kind of ties the hands of management authorities in the state of Idaho by just saying there will be no management. We just get to start killing them. That's already a kind of concern and it's it's not a great look for, for uh, our state, but uh, we'll be monitoring this bill as it moves forward. That was just printed this week as well. That's it for this week. I hope you have a good weekend. Take care. Some of us are trying to record movies uh, over here. <clears throat>